Okay, we're going to work on wheel pose and we're going to take it right from the beginning in a way that doesn't use any props. So, you just need a piece of floor, basically. So you're going to come and lie down. All good things start lying down, right? And we're going to start just with your upper body because that tends to be the place that most people struggle with. It's quite easy to do this, but it's less easy to do the shoulder part of the movement. So to make it more accessible on your on your wrists, whereas in a normal wheel pose you tuck your you tuck your your hands under you and have your fingers pointing down towards your feet, go ahead and do that if you can. If not, have your fingers pointed towards the camera, like towards me. So I'm pointing my fingers towards you now. Both sides. So your fingers are pointing away from you. Okay. And then look at your elbows. You want your elbows to be parallel, so pointing straight up. Okay, so get there, elbows pointing straight up. If you can't get there, that's where you're working on. You're getting your, getting your hands in position and then making your elbows point up parallel, not out, not too far in, straight up. So from there, you're going to push your shoulder blades down your back. So have a go at shrugging your shoulders towards your ears and then pushing them down away from your ears. And then do it again, shrug up to your ears and then point them down, uh, slide them down away from your ears. And that down away from your ears is where we want to be, okay? Nice, strong, stable shoulders. Just like in everything else that we do. So from here, we're gonna push up. We're gonna see where we are. So keeping your shoulders pushed up, Slide your shoulders down your back and then lift up. So your head's kind of dangling around. Your shoulders are off the floor, your back's off the floor. This is hard. This is hard on your shoulders, hard work. Not, not dangerous on your shoulders, but hard work. So now you can see why that's the, that's the hardest part of a wheel. So this is where we're going to work for a while if you need to. So you're going to push your hands into the floor, slide your shoulders down and hold it here. We'll do some breaths here. You can take the top of your head to the floor if you want to, but try and keep some weight in your hands. So don't take all of the weight in your head. So you can probably feel how this is the hardest part of this movement. Having the strength to lift your upper body up. Come on down. Have a rest. This is the kind of position that you need lots of rest with because it's, it's essentially, it's the strength movement. So I want you to pause the video and try that a few times. Try for 10 breaths, lifted off the floor here. And then rest for about a minute more if you need to. So we'll do that three times and then come back to the video. Otherwise, or welcome back. Um, and we'll carry on. So if and when we've got ourselves into this position here and we're able to lift up, we're then going to work on our lower body. So even if you haven't been able to lift yourself up, let's work on that lower body part of things now. So what you want to do is have your feet hip distance, so our feet aren't out wide, they're hip distance. Heels kind of close to your bum, not too far away. And then what will probably happen as you push yourself up is your knees will separate. I don't think you can see. So as I push myself up, my knees are coming apart. We want to keep them together. Keep pushing them towards each other. Have a go at lifting yourself up and see where your legs want to land and resist it. If you have got a block or something around you, like a tennis ball, maybe something, a cushion. Cushions are good. You've probably got cushions. Put that in between your knees so you've got that little bit of um, a prompt, a little bit of feedback to tell you to squeeze your knees towards each other. So we're coming back to the floor, get your thing between your knees or have your awareness between your knees. Then we're going to tuck your tailbone under, tuck your tailbone under like in a hollow hold, it's familiar, and lift up, squeezing your knees towards each other. Okay? Then we'll get our hands in position just like we've just practiced, so your shoulders should be warm for this. Elbows pointing up, shoulders down your back, so shrug, and then anti-shrug down your back, and then see, <laughs> see if you can lift up. So that first exercise we did, where we took ourselves off the floor, 
We're a bit heavier now because we've also got our lower body off the floor, so we're a bit heavier. If you can, just take yourself to the top of your head. There we go. Then you can, you can take some of your weight in your head as well. If you've got hair grips in, this is very unpleasant, let me tell you. Check that your knees are still squeezed together and that your elbows are still pointing straight up. Here is where you'll stay for 10 breaths, three times, again. If you can't get there, take your hips up, push your hands into the floor as hard as you can and see if you can make your shoulders, so feel the backs of your shoulders on the floor or your spine on the floor, see if you can make it a little bit lighter and hold that for 10 seconds. So we'll hold that isometric again, uh, not 10 seconds, 10 breaths, about a minute rest and then come back and we'll try and do the full position. But you can just keep repeating whatever stage you're on and I promise it gets easier. So, when we've done that, we're coming straight back. So hands in position again. Remember, you can have your fingers in the full, uh, fingers pointing towards your feet position if you want, but if that's too hard on your wrist, it really doesn't matter if you have your fingers pointing away from you. It doesn't matter because I said so. <laughs> Anatomically, it doesn't matter. Slide your shoulders down. So shrug them if you need to, to find out where down is, and then anti-shrug them and keep them there. Then we're going to lift your hips, squeeze your knees, towards each other. Big push onto your head. Remember we can hold it there. If not, see if we can push our head away from the floor. If you need to, you can keep your head on the floor and just try and take as much weight out of it as possible and hover it there. When you're fully up, straighten your arms. See if you can straighten your legs. Keep your knees pushing towards each other. Come on down slowly. Only five breaths in the full wheel pose for now. Work up to 10 breaths. Minute rest, work up to three times. The rest is really important here. When you come down, it feels really weird. Like, I can't even explain how weird, but it feels really nice to just lie on the floor, I promise. Okay, have a go at all of that. See where you get to. And you might want to come into a forward fold afterwards, but it can feel quite, quite weird after having your back bent that way. So, I would just sit upright in a cross-legged position probably. See if you can keep your spine uncut. I mean, you can bend your spine if you want to, but if it feels weird to you and you just want to reset, just lift your spine upwards. Hold onto your knees. Hold onto the fronts of your knees, like someone's pulling you and you want to grab onto your knees to stop yourself from falling back. And then pull yourself backwards and push down with your knees. So kind of neutralising your spine without having to take it into a forward fold when it might feel a bit odd. So you're pulling into your knees, pulling yourself back, and then resisting with your knees. Okay, done, yeah? 